Guys, I am gonna get to do something so cool tonight. Jess and I are gonna go see Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire live at the San Diego Symphony. The symphony is gonna be playing the orchestrations live while the movie plays behind them. Uh, I can't wait. I've wanted to go to one of these for a long time and I finally have the chance to go to one. My parents are coming over to babysit Margo and I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm gonna be vlogging throughout the experience. Jess is at work right now, so I'm gonna go pick her up from work and then we're gonna go to the symphony. It's outdoors, it's right on the bay in San Diego. It's gonna be beautiful and you guys will see the whole thing, but I mean, not the movie or the performance because, you know, copyright issues, but you'll see what you can. Yeah, let's go. Margo! What should I wear? She can't hear me. She's napping. Mmm, <sighs> yes. Ready to go. So here's the deal guys, I've never been to one of these before. I know that they've been doing them for a while now. I mean, I'm like extremely excited to go see this. Uh, it's been obviously, you know, not counting Fantastic Beasts, it's been since 2011, since I've seen a Harry Potter movie in theaters, since Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out. Um, I just, and like this venue, you guys will see, it's the San Diego Symphony's Bayside Summer Nights. Uh, they do these concerts out in an open air venue, right on the bay. Um, we have lawn seats, so we're gonna be sitting on the grass. They're gonna be playing the movie behind the orchestra. The orchestra is gonna be playing the music in time. We're playing Patrick Doyle's music from Goblet of Fire, which is some of the best music that was ever written for the Harry Potter series. Uh, some of the best some of the best orchestrations were written by Patrick Doyle. Neville's Waltz is one of my absolute favorite pieces of music from the entire series. Um, so to get to hear that tonight, I just think is going to be incredible to hear it played by a live symphony. Um, I'm not holding my phone, by the way. You guys are on a car mount. So Jess, when you're watching this later, don't worry that I was doing something dangerous. Yeah, I'm driving right now to go pick up Jess. She is still at work. She had to work today, even though it's Saturday. Um, we're gonna go to the symphony. intermission right now. I didn't know there was going to be an intermission, but this is the coolest thing ever. You have to come if you have a chance. Hey, movie magic, and suddenly it is tomorrow. I'm recording my reaction to the concert right now in the car again. Um, in my car this time. Again, jerry-rigging uh, camera holder to use my phone. Sorry if you guys can't see me very well again. Uh, I can't see the screen. I have to do it backwards so that I can shoot 4K for you people. This is all for you. <laughs> Uh, but I'm shooting my reaction the day after because we got home from the concert late last night uh, and basically fell pretty quickly asleep. So didn't get that done. Um, but this, it was so incredible, you guys. Um, I, I'm at a loss for words right now because I had so many thoughts that kept happening last night. The first ones that I'm remembering that are coming to my mind uh, is it made me pay attention and focus on the movie in a really different way that I haven't been able to for a long time. We've all seen Goblet of Fire so many times. There's so many of us that say it's our favorite movie. Um, and I think, you know, I, I used to be one of those people. Uh, not so much anymore. But I think we have all seen the movie so many times that we kind of don't pay as close attention because our brains can just check out because we know what's going on. And 
seeing the movie in this way with the orchestra playing the music live really made me focus in a different way. Um, made me watch the movie with greater attention like I haven't in a long time, like I said. It made me notice new things. Uh, made me make new connections. And, you know, hearing the music live, oftentimes the music felt like the main character. It really did. I know that's kind of a kind of a cliche thing to say when you go to the symphony. But um, it, was, it, it was absolutely incredible. The music really took center stage and really dominated the scenes where it exists. Um, but then also there were other times where I completely forgot to be playing, being played by a live orchestra. And I think that purely is a testament to the fact that A, the, the company that puts on these film concerts across the country is remarkable at what they do, and B, a testament to the to sheer talent of the musicians and the conductor at the San Diego Symphony. Um, so congratulations to all those musicians. Uh, brava, bravo, I don't know what you say to orchestras. I'm a theater person. I'm a nerd. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I have to say, if you have a chance, you know, go. Our tickets were $31 each. Um, you, you guys saw the menu. It was outdoors on the San Diego Bay. It was a beautiful view of downtown to the right and the water to the left. And we, were, we had lawn seats, so we got to picnic and everything. It was it was absolutely incredible. If you live in San Diego, check out the San Diego Symphony's Bayside Summer Nights. They have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, and yeah, just get out, go see some culture, go do something interesting. And if those things align with Harry Potter, take advantage of that. Um, it was absolutely remarkable. We had a wonderful time. I cannot recommend it more. Um, and I'll stop rambling now so that you guys can get back to whatever you were doing with your day. Um, I'll see you guys next week, Chapter 12. Make sure you read that by Tuesday. Um, we'll talk about fun stuff. Bye!